Right guys, this is episode two of Becoming a Strong Man. Featuring the world's strongest man, Europe's strongest man, and the future of strength, Harry <laughs> Stoltman. So Harry is in today, what have we got today for you Harry? Uh, we've got some deadlifts today, we're training back deadlifts and then nice. some accessory. We're going to go through the session with you, um, Dan's up as well so that'll be good to get an insight mm -hmm. from him, really see how your deadlift is going because deadlift is obviously such a, a pivotal or a main event in strongman. It's you know, one of the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't have a good deadlift, like, well mine's okay now, but if your deadlift isn't up to par, you can really cost you some points. So, Harry's going to smash it. Excited for it. Hope you guys enjoy training to become a strong man. <laughs> just now, I'm just warming up. I'm going to work up to three sets at 200. That's quite a, a decent weight for me and nice and comfortable with that weight. Harry's put on, just back to 180 now, so he's still warming up. So he's looking good, nice and easy, nothing too strenuous for him. His deadlift has gone up quite a, quite a lot in the last couple of months, which is good. That consistent training, he's training on the deadlift bar. Obviously when we're deadlifting in competitions, if it's barbell, it's predominantly what we use as a deadlift bar. So yeah, he's got the sets to do, you say Dan's here. And then we'll go into some accessories with him after, and he'll smash it. Training to become a strong man, why don't you do it? Do it now. Dream, mother Putting weight on, putting straps on, putting belt on, all in one go. Yeah, yeah. Do it before you're working, so. Uh, so you can, you don't have to think about that. You yeah. just need to think about the weight. So I'll put your straps on for this. Yeah. And then pull yeah. it for an easy rep. Yeah. Chuck some weight on and uh. get your working sets done. You know, like with your training, where you don't want to make loads of changes in terms of like putting a belt on, putting straps on. Yeah. So last warm up set, get all his yeah. kit on, and then his working sets he's used to. That was slow. <laughs> How did that go, bro? Yeah, really good. Uh, that's me all warmed up and can I feel a lot more mobile now. Uh, on the working set now, at 200, two reps. Yeah, buddy. You feel more motivated that everyone's here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's uh, I've been used to training by myself, so having uh, people around kind of watching you and crit critiquing every single movement is pretty good, like. <laughs> Uh, when you were last it was like, <laughs> 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 we back one. Did you notice that, Dan? Was that just not from this angle? No. Oh, maybe it was just, it just like an optical illusion. <laughs> 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 Yeah, so the goal for this year in deadlifts, I would say, well, I would like to get 300. I think that's quite doable. 245, I think my max is. So if I just keep working on it like I have been, I think, yeah, that's very much doable. Fake weights. Harry, what did you just finish? Finished deadlifts. Felt. Really good, uh, really strong, 
nice and kind of snappy. I don't think there was any major issues with it. No, no. Really good. Well, it's a big difference now in your deadlifts from when you first started to now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe yeah. your 180 looked a bit slower, but now your 200's just smashing it yeah. up and down. Yeah. Well done, Harry Stockman. So proud. Stop the future of strength. Harry, the hurricane will blow you away. Yeah. So, next up, you have. We've got deficit stiff legs. Woo! Uh, 170. It's big Tommy's favourite. Congratulations. <laughs> Really? <laughs> 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 We've got Harry doing doubles on most things this week. This is coming to the end of a fairly big peaking phase. So we're tapering everything down, getting back to more conventional movements. Probably the last time he's gonna do deficit stiff legs for a while. So we'll just start building up to a new one rep max deadlift fairly quickly. How did that go, Harry? Yeah, that went well. Um, that movement, it's quite a hard one to generate power off the floor, well, I find anyway. Yeah, deadlifts are coming on nice and so's the, the stiff legs. Everyone seems to be doing, doing really well. Have you taken a leaf out of Tom's book with a mouse shield as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I started using it like probably a year ago. So I found I was clenching down, you know, when I was training, kind of biting down. So I tried this and I, I wouldn't ever not use it now. Yeah, it's cool. good. That really wide grip, you've just got nowhere to hide with like technique yeah and you just hammer your back yeah for sure as a minimum we want like to be able to see the rings yeah yeah so on the outside of the ring yeah, yeah. sweet i'll do that next thing Oh, I got it! <laughs> Done it! It's in your back as well. Oh, yeah. I feel it. The lats more. Yeah. I feel it in my lats more doing that. What was the difference between that and the first one? The first one, I had my hands kind of like in a, a bench press uh, position. But for snatch, it's a lot wider. Target's a bit different part of the back. It was more my lats there. And yeah, definitely harder. <laughs> So guys, that's the, <laughs> the main uh, back exercises done, the deadlifts and deficits. Now it's on to uh, some accessory stuff. Let's do it. Time to make the eclipse. And by eclipse, I mean a big back, like Dwayne Yates, but bigger, like this guy. Like a me. Remember, leave a leg a key. <laughs>
Tommy's fact of the day, cows moo with regional accents. So how does the French one me? That was Harry's deadlift session done. One of the biggest exercises in Strongman, obviously. Really impressed to see. I remember um, this time about kind of five, six months ago, yeah. your 180 kind of kilos was looking a bit of a struggle. Struggling with it, yeah. And now you're yeah. doing deficit stuff like deadlifts, almost, almost oh, like 180. Yeah. So yeah. I think it was really good. The progression as athletes, as kind of professional athletes as well, that's what Tom and I look for in progression all the time. Definitely there with you. Really excited to see what the next year of training kind of holds up for you. It's looking good, didn't it? Uh, so it felt okay. Yeah, yeah two hundred. Felt, felt really strong. Um, I wouldn't say easy, but it was, oh. it was definitely a lot more in the tank. Oh, jeez, yeah. I think it's just going to yeah. keep progressing, progressing, progressing. Yeah. And um, you're welcome, by the way, ladies, for watching. Those hip thrusts were pretty sexual. Very spicy. So if you want to feel Harry's hip thrust, slide into his DMs. Soon to be the most uh, exciting strong man ever. About your brother in a I'm trying to try to get him laid. I'm trying to get him some. <laughs> I don't need help. Hey! <laughs> Harry's ringing that bell every day, baby! <laughs> cut, cut. That's my wee brother, lads and girls, right? You better be. <laughs> How did you feel, do you think? Harry's deadlifts are improving? Yes, he's improving. Deadlift, strength overall is improving. Much better form. I think having Dan as well and have guidance is good, you know. Yeah. Harry's seen what Dan's done to me and Luke, so taking the pressure away of Harry just walking into the gym and doing stuff, and then he's got something to follow. Structure's important, and like I said, progression structure is key to kind of, well, it's key to progressing. Yeah. So uh, if he's hitting what he's meant to be every week, then you're just going to get stronger. So yeah, well done. And uh, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for episode three with Harry, where he's going to be turning him into the bigger, bigger beast. Stay safe, smile and stay safe. <laughs> Don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding, 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 ding,